Yeah, it's been good. I just said it's been pretty smooth. Um, I, I think, as I said, um, the ECB did a great job. Um, so, we're in camp. As you said, uh, Manchester is a fantastic place to have a camp. Everything's here. Um, the rooms are on on the, on the uh, compound, and obviously, just take a walk over to the nets, and it's fantastic, man. It, um, it really breeds um, a great work ethic. So, I'm looking forward for the next couple of days leading up to the first test match. Um, yeah, it was special for it, obviously, because of the situation with COVID-19. But obviously, um, we trust our board to make the right decisions. And now we're here and now we're focused on obviously retaining that trophy and taking it back home to the Caribbean. I feel very strongly about it, um, personally, um, for obvious reasons. But the team has discussed it in depth um, and we're going to go back and have a discussion about it again soon. And then as a team, we'll come up with a way of how to answer all questions relating to that Black Lives Matter issue. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, we've had some sessions already in the Nets and obviously the atmosphere down here is pretty chilly. Um, so there's not much sweat that you can produce. So it's funny other ways to shine a ball. Um, most of life is allowed. So it's, it's pretty tough, but we're coming up with some ways that we can probably get a good gloss onto the ball. but. It takes a lot more practice, but we're going to keep working at it and then we'll see what's the best way going forward. Um, just the, 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 the adapting, obviously, as I said, it's a new norm. Um, the rain of masks everywhere you go, the rain of gloves everywhere you go. Um, the protocols, are, are, they're a bit tough, but after a couple of days, you tend to get a, a, a sense of how you need to go around and obviously operate. So, yeah, I, I, other than that, We've done our testing, everyone is good. So it's all about just cricket now, obviously get focused and obviously focus on what the job is at hand. And it, it, it takes a little bit out of you, but I think in a couple of days, the guys will be close to normal if they aren't already. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, obviously, we haven't played for a while. I think our last test tour was actually in November, December last year. So I think it's going to be tough, obviously, to get started. But as I said, we've been working very hard. We have some practice games coming up to get our bodies, obviously, tuned, fine-tuned and stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and we'll see how the, the series starts and how it finishes as well. I think it's just about as our plans as best as we can. Um, obviously, England at home is a very tough side. So I think for us, it's just going out there with our team plan, sticking to it, and just um, adjusting where we see fit. Um, but I think once we, I just say, once we stick to our plans, once we go out there, be confident, obviously, and, and you know, stuck into the, getting stuck into the English batting lineup, I think we have, we have we still have a great chance of obviously taking that trophy back home. Well, it's going to be new for me. Um, I've never played a cricket game without any spectators in the stands, so I'll see how it goes. But I think the elimination of obviously the strong England support that they have here can play a part. Um, obviously, it's, it's a more level playing field for us. So, as I said, when July 8th comes, let's see how it goes and let's see how fast we can adapt and, and get stuck into the English. Yeah, um, I was Jokers made a decision and I think he's doing a fantastic job um, so far in his career. Um, but obviously, um, there have no friendships as, um, and stuff in the series. I think it's all about winning and obviously playing hard cricket. So if we come up against Joe Floyd, I think we'll devise a fantastic plan, obviously, to counter him. So I'm looking forward to that battle. And we as a team, I'm sure, are doing the same.